Kev, it's been a, a, a pretty big month for the lightweight division. I mean, have you been kind of sitting back and, and enjoying seeing, like, all these big fights play out and, and the kind of division get settled a little bit? Yeah. Uh, you know, I feel like there's still some confusion out there, especially with the whole the fiasco in Brooklyn. You know, I, I'm taking responsibility for that. Uh, but I'm going to correct it all. After this one, then, uh, then we'll see who the rightful future of this division really is. You take responsibility for it? Yeah, yeah. If I would have showed up healthy against Tony uh, last October, the whole the whole thing in Brooklyn would have looked different. And uh, you know, like I said, I'm I'm, I'm gonna take uh, you know I, I I'll, I'll correct all those wrongs within the next coming months. Nice. What what did you see? You know, last week Gaethje Poirier watching that fight play out. What, what did you think about that? And and what do you think about Poirier's you know claims that you know that performance should earn him a title shot? It, it was an exciting fight. It was a fun fight. Uh, I think it was exactly what the UFC wanted. I think it was exactly what the fans wanted. Uh, when I look at it from a competitor standpoint, I was like, you know, I didn't really see anything that really impressed me or, or really like stood out, uh, especially to see going into a title fight. If if the U, if that's a, what the UFC decides, that's on them. They degree. I mean, I ain't gonna tell another man how to do his job. They they're the promoters, but I'm looking at it in front of fan, and I'm saying, like, what is he bringing to the table that's different? And, you know, I just don't see it. I don't see him as being championship level uh, caliber. How about Eddie Alvarez? I mean, he's been sitting out, but he's been kind of sitting back on the sidelines saying, well, I already have my spot, so, you know, I deserve it. I'm sorry, but when you come out and you say you're too fat to take a fight, it's, it, come on, it, 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 right there, it's like you already out the door. Uh, I think he's got one foot out the door, and I'll go ahead and kick him out the door if they want me to, but uh, we'll see. You know, it, that was one of the ones that I was looking at before this fight approached, but, you know, Eddie, Eddie's on his way out, so I, I wanted a bigger challenge. I think Edson was that bigger challenge, and uh, I'm going to go out there and prove it on Saturday. So if you have a dominant performance, you think you can jump by both those guys? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how the whole thing shake out. You know, right now it's, it's just focusing on Edson. Uh, Edson's going to try and kick my head off. So uh, I got to be on my P's and Q's the whole, the whole time. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But right now I'm focused only on Edson. Even before he had the belt, you were calling out Habib. I mean, that was a fight that you wanted, right? I mean, nobody's been able to beat him. So what is it that, that you know or that you can do or that you have that, that nobody else does? I just know it. I just know it. I've been calling him out for two, three years. I just know it. Everybody else, they, you know, they gave it to a man that that came out a couple of weeks before the they fight, and uh, and said he was afraid of him. He was afraid to fight him. He wanted to fight him for all this money. And I whoop his ass right now, at 50 G's. <laughs> You mentioned the uh, the staff infection uh, going into the last fight. I'm just curious, comparatively speaking, how are you feeling going into this one? My body feels good. Uh, I don't know if some of the fans got to see during open workouts. Like, I, I think I'm as lean as I've ever been. I'm, I'm like down to 4% body fat. Uh, body feels good. Mind feels good. The stress is gone. And I, I think that's where a lot of that uh, that infection and, and all those things was coming from. But that's one of, been one of the biggest focuses of this camp. Now, you mentioned the kicks as well. Obviously, he's one of the few guys who's gotten multiple leg kick knockouts. But uh, what else do you have to watch out for, and what's the key to success for you? Everything. I mean, he, he's definitely one of the best strikers at lightweight. Uh, he's been that way for a long time. But he, he's well-rounded, too. He, he's going to try and clear up some of them holes. The man's never lost two in a row. So even those holes that showed up versus Khabib and some of these other guys, he, he's going to clear those up. And I'm expecting the best version. Uh, but I feel I'm the most well-rounded fighter in this division for a reason. And I can, uh, I can, I can pick the holes that that he don't even know is there. I saw something you said along the lines of you're going to give him the, the drubbing of a lifetime, you know, worse than Habib gave him. Um, but it doesn't feel like it's personal. Um, are you trying more to make a statement to the UFC or to the fans? To myself, more than anything. Uh, I feel like one, once this catch up to the my physical, there's not a man that can beat me. And uh, that, that's what I blame a lot of. Any any time I've lost in this, in this game, it's always been mental or it's always been myself. And... Uh, I'm just looking to overcome that as I get older and get more experience. Now, as far as Habib's performance uh, at 223, obviously beat uh, a guy who was outside the top 10. Took a lot of criticism for that uh, the last couple of rounds, rightly or wrongly. What was your take on that? Did he look beatable? He he looked the same as I, I seen them hoes a long while ago. He looked like how I thought he was going to look. Uh, Al went out there. Al you know, withstood some things. Al made some adjustments. Uh, but if he would have made those adjustments or if he would have had a full camp earlier, it would have looked like a different fight. And it's definitely going to look like a different fight once I get my hands on him. Was there any difference being the main event? Is there more extra uh, pressure or excitement? Yeah, I mean, there's there's all that. There's uh, two extra rounds. 
uh, you know, you got to wait a little bit longer. You got to stay up a little bit later. Uh, it, it, it does add a little bit more to it, but that's what I wanted. I wanted this challenge. I wanted to hop right back in there and not just dip my toe in and, and, and be on no prelim or, you know, sit back and, uh, uh, you know, just kind of take it easy like some of these other guys. And uh, pressuring Barboza backwards seems to be the MO to beat him. Anything you learned from Khabib's fight against him that maybe you're going to pick up on and work off of? Like you said, that, that's, that is one of the big holes. Uh, I'm expecting him to try and fill that up. Uh, but I, I'm going to pick him apart. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take whatever the man gives me. I feel like I can do it all. So whatever is there is what I'm going to take. I'm not going to look for one thing or, or really uh, uh, press for one thing or another. I'm just going to go out there and, and just perform. A lot of fighters coming off of losses seem to come back real strong. They're both coming off of losses. What do you think has more to prove with this fight? We're going to see. Uh, you know, like I said, we, we're the two best athletes in this division, hands down. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to come down to that mental war. Whoever wins that mental war is going to win. And that, that, that comes with being strong. So we're we going to see, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm as confident as they come. I always wonder when you fight like late at night, do you tailor your workouts the same? I mean, do you work out the same time at night? Just to Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that was about the same as last night. I stayed up to like 2, 2.33, uh, you know, working out. Just because the, the fight's going to be maybe midnight, 12.30, something like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that, that all comes along with the preparation. For less than 24 hours, what do you got left to cut? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I ain't going to jinx it. Look, mostly I ain't going to jinx myself. I think that, that last time, dude, yeah, wasn't a good idea. A good <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling good, uh, getting some breakfast and some tea in me. Uh, so we in a good spot. Real quick, Kevin, you mentioned uh, the leanest you've ever been. Do you attribute that to nutrition? Do you attribute that to... Yeah, uh, I never really got big again after my last fight. You know, I, I stayed disciplined. I stayed on my diet. I knew I already had the vision uh, of coming back and, and being stronger. Uh, I have been working a lot over at the UFCPI. They've been monitoring me uh, every week and making sure that I'm staying up on my nutrition, giving me some tips and, and uh, benefits here. I don't, I don't use a dietitian or anything, but uh, I stay on top of it.